After being revealed earlier this year, Downfall of Walter the Germany Ball finally released, and, well, let's just say I thought that it was pretty solid. There's not really a lot I'm going to say in this review, it's just going to be a relatively quick one, because this movie is 31 minutes long, and there's not a lot of criticisms towards it, because, again, it's just pretty solid. But I do think it's worth mentioning some pros and cons for this movie. I think one of my favorite things about this movie is the camera work. There are a lot of really cool shots in here, and it definitely makes it more enjoyable. And there's also a lot of interactions that were well thought out and just well made. And also, well, I feel like this movie could have improved on, I guess you could say, lengthening a few scenes. There are still enough scenes that are long enough that make me happy with what's going on. Which, of course, is a good thing in a movie that, in my opinion, could have been a little bit longer, but is fine with its length. It's also worth mentioning that the story feels like it's worth telling. I didn't really have any problems with what was going on, or just in general with what was happening within the story. It was all enjoyable to me, and again, felt like it was worth being told in a movie. And I think that those are the main positives, and that is good because most of the positives I just listed are things that I look for in a movie. Meaning, again, that this was really good for what it was trying to be. And of course, there's not really going to be a lot of budget going into this, so I do think that some of the action scenes and effect scenes actually looked pretty good, even with the limitations that obviously existed. But I will say that I do have a few small criticisms that didn't really, I guess you could say, hurt my enjoyment of the movie, but they are worth mentioning. I think one of my biggest problems is that there just isn't enough exposition to allow you to fully understand what's going on. And this is a problem because there are a lot of action scenes, and I do kind of like it when action scenes have like a reason for what's happening or just like a more strong reason you could say and then also i do think that well most of the scenes were long enough i would have preferred especially with the final battle which i'm not going to spoil but it is pretty cool that it would have been longer to kind of like heighten what's going on and i think that that is my biggest criticism if all of the scenes were much longer and, I guess you could say, much more focused on exposition or self-reflection or something like that, it would have made me like the movie even more. But again, this was still really good, and there's not a lot to nitpick at, there's not a lot to complain about, because I wasn't disappointed. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the movie. And I wouldn't be upset if a sequel came out at all, which is teased, by the way. I don't know if that counts as a spoiler. Anyway, I am going to give the downfall of Walter the Germany Ball a pretty solid and maybe a bit generous 8 out of 10.